there's a lot of places you can go fishing when you think about it. I mean, I love to surf fish, right? But you could go, you could go to the pier. You could go to one of the docks on the ICW. You can go out in a boat, you can go offshore, or you could go in the sound where, you know, <laughs> you people in New York know what I'm talking about. The sound is on one side of the beach and on the other side. Well, here we've got the slough. And someone asked me, what's the difference between fishing in, in, the, in the sound versus fishing in the surf? And I thought, that's a good question. Let's find out. Come on, let's go. So to start with, let me define what I'm talking about, the difference between the surf and the slough. This is a map of Oak Island, this is the west end, all the way to the left is the point. But when I'm talking about the surf, I'm talking about any area that faces the ocean, the beach. So you have the waves crashing. This right here is probably around 23rd, 17th Street, somewhere in that area on the west end, but it could be anywhere on the island as long as you're in the ocean. When I'm talking about the slough, I'm specifically here talking about Montgomery Slough, which is a body of water between Oak Island and Sheep Island, but really this applies to any of the backwaters in Oak Island. So anything I'm going to talk about when I talk about the slough really could be the creeks or any place. So the first thing you need to know is if you're going to fish the slough, we're going to start with that, you're probably going to need a boat. <laughs> you're going to need at least some kind of way to get out to a spot like this, which is Sheep Island, the backside of Sheep Island. Um, but you can use a kayak, you could use a paddleboard, whatever's going to get you out there. And you're going to have the marshy areas out there and you can see there's not a lot of waves. And that's really the area we're talking about when I say the slough. The second thing you need to know is you don't need the big heavy equipment. You don't need an 11 foot rod. This is a seven foot rod. This is a toadfish. 3,000 reels, so smaller gear. Next thing up, bait. The difference between fishing bait and in the slough, the difference here I'm going to mention are uh, what I consider differences. This is the way I approach it, but it doesn't mean the different baits won't work in both. It's just my opinion. Number one, shrimp. I will work shrimp in the slough or the surf. Everything loves shrimp. So you can throw live shrimp, fresh shrimp, even frozen shrimp in either and probably catch fish. Second up, minnows. I tend to throw mud minnows when I'm in the slough, but I'll throw um, finger mullet when I'm in the surf. They're a little bigger, a little hardier. That's really what you find in the surf. Mud minnows is really what you catch in the slough in the back creeks. If I'm going to throw sand fleas, I tend to just throw them in the surf. They might work in the slough, but they definitely work in the surf for fish like pompano and whiting. And you're just going to have a better bet because that's where they live, right? You're throwing bait where it lives. To counter that, I will throw fiddler crabs in the slough. And I will not throw them in the surf. I've not had much luck with them in the surf. Perhaps you have. I just haven't, so I don't bother doing it. Uh, next cut bait. I tend to throw cut bait in the surf. I catch the bluefish, sharks with it. Uh, the slough doesn't, you know, maybe you catch a red drum on it, but you do much better with it in the surf, in my opinion. Again, paddle tail, any type of soft plastic, I like to throw those in the slough. You're going to get your trout, your red drum, your flounder are going to go after them. But if you have them in the surf, probably the bluefish are going to rip them up, right? So I keep those in the slough. Next up, a float rig. Uh, of course, I'm going to throw those in the slough. Popping corks, float rigs, all sort of the same thing. You can use those in the pier, but you're not going to be able to throw those in the surf. They're just going to get washed back up, but they work great in the slough. And finally, if you want to throw some, you know, I throw metal. If you want to throw a lower in the surf, throw some gotcha plugs. Uh, you, you know, you can throw them from the shore. You, obviously, you can throw them from a pier too. You're going to catch your bluefish or Spanish on those. So that's how I look at bait. So since I'm fishing the slough, I'm going to start with everybody's favorite bait. I got some fresh shrimp here from Clem's, and I'm just going to cut it up into little pieces. One thing I know you're supposed to do is take the heads and the tails and throw them into the water. It fires the fish up. You know, it gets them going. So that's a good little good luck trick I know. <laughs> of course, uh, the gear I'm going to use is actually smaller. I mentioned the rod and reel, but uh, as well, the weight. It's only like a two ounce weight here. I'm not throwing like a big four ounce weight like I would in the surf. I'm gathering up some fiddler crabs right there, and I'm also going to use some uh, little pieces of fish bites I got as a sampler pack from um, Dutchman's Creek. So I'm going to cut those on, put a little piece of that on there with the fiddler crab, got my shrimp, got my little float rigs here, and uh, little one-aught hooks, and and a little two ounce weight and just going to cast it out here just a little bit beyond the 
beyond the grass and see if we catch anything. The other thing that surprised me <laughs> that I, when I go to the surf, I expect to see a lot of people on the beach, especially in the middle of the day. I was surprised at how much boat traffic there were people on kayaks. There were people on paddle boards. There were boats going by. At some points, I actually had to wait before I could cast for the, for the traffic to go by. So that actually kind of surprised me is how much traffic there was out in the slough. But who knew? That's, that's I guess, not a difference. I guess that's a similarity. So let's see what I can catch here out in the slough. Uh, my first cast here on the toadfish is uh, going to be a pinfish. <laughs> I could feel it. You know, they tug. They're like tug, tug, tug. So you know when you've got one. They are bait stealers. They, you can't, there's a lot of bones. You can't really eat them. They've got these really spiky dorsal fins. That's why they call pinfish. You cut yourself on those. So if you want to use one of those, take it down to the surf and throw it out uh, to catch sharks. <laughs> but in the slough, just throw them back. Another, another favorite, the classic croaker. And you know, croaker are in the slough and they are in the surf. But I tend to catch bigger ones in the slough and this one coming up is not too bad i think it might be like nine inches eight nine inches i've caught like 12 inch croaker in the slough now i'm not a fan of croaker but if you're a fan of croaker you can catch bigger ones in the slough you can target them out there um probably better than you'll do in the surf let's see what else we can get out here in the slough uh, a doubled up doubled up my friends okay so this is another one you will not see probably in the surf this or here first of all is a, cro a croaker on the bottom we're gonna let him go again not a bad size one um and this one on the top is a pin a pig fish oink oink the, the oink and they're actually pretty good eating so let's talk about the fish while we're at it that you will catch in the surf and you will catch in the slough. And now again, this is my opinion. Uh, some of these fish you can catch in both, but I'll put them in one slot or the other just because I have a tendency to catch more of them in that area. Doesn't mean you can't, so I'll probably get a lot of comments about it. But first up, the puffer. You can catch puffer in the slough. You can catch them in the surf. The difference is you're going to catch them in the surf in March. And in the slough, you can catch them pretty much year round. They're going to go back in the waters after March. But if you're fishing in March, you'll definitely catch them in the surf. Pigfish, I'm going to put in the slough side. I don't think I've ever caught one in the surf. Um, and they're good eating if you can find big ones, but they don't get really big. Uh, and they kind of, like I said, they go oink oink, but they're definitely in the slough side. Pinfish, again, I'm going to put in the slough side. Yeah, you can catch them in the surf and you'll catch them off the, off the pier and sometimes at the point. But I tend to catch a lot of them in the slough. So I'm going to leave them over in that column for right now. What am I going to get? in the surf croaker in the slough and in the surf yeah you're going to get croaker the difference is if i catch them in the slough i could be targeting them if i catch them in the surf it's annoying because i'm trying to catch something else and i just run into a school of them and i'm like man not croaker whiting i catch mostly in the surf you can catch one in the slough every once in a while but if you're going to target whiting you're going to want to go down the surf great fish to catch on shrimp and sand fleas and they're really good eating uh, bluefish again in the surf i've caught them in the icw here and there but if you're targeting bluefish cast out a big piece of chunk bait in the surf way out far and you can catch a nice size um, bluefish black drum i might get some grief about this but i tend if i was going to target black drum i'd go to the slough throw fiddler crabs i've caught them in the surf before um obviously other people have but i tend to go for them in the slough same with the red drum i probably get grief for that too yes people do catch them at the point in the surf and on the docks but i tend to catch them in the slough way more often than i do in the surf and if i'm targeting them i'm going to go back there and throw paddle tails or something and go after them Pompano in the surf, right? I don't think I've ever caught one in the slough. I don't think they come in there at all. They're in the wash in the surf. And then you're going to target them. That's where you want to hit the surf for those fish. And then, of course, like Spanish mackerel in the surf. Uh, you want to throw some in the fall. Throw some um, finger mullet, live finger mullet. Cast them way out there in the surf. And you can catch Spanish from the surf. It's true. Next up is going to be trout. I You can catch them in the surf again. I If I was targeting them, I'm back in the slough again. I'm throwing soft plastics or maybe popping corks or maybe um, shrimp on a float rig. You know, that's what's going to get you your trout. Uh, don't, you, know, you can catch them in the surf, but I'm going, to, I'm going to target them in the slough, no doubt about it. And last but not least, <laughs> sharks. Yeah, you can catch sharks in the backwater in the ICW, but if you really want to catch a nice Atlantic sharp nose, you're going to go out in the surf and throw a nice big chunk of a big bait out there so you know you're gonna catch the big sharks out there so that's my lineup let's head down to the surf and see how i do there so the lineup for the bait is similar. I've got fresh shrimp here ready to go. I've got some fish bites for one of the rods where I've got a double drop rig. I'm going to cut some of this bag of worms flavored fish bites and put a little piece on there. I'm also going to be throwing a finger mullet on a larger rig, a five out hook, both with four ounce weights on an 11 foot rod and like 5,000 reels. So bigger gear, um, some similar with the shrimp in size of the rig, but definitely bigger for the, uh, the bluefish rig. I'm going to call it right now. 
It's a little shark. If it was a blue, they just hit it and run. They either get hooked or they don't. If it's a big shark, they pick it up and they run in your rod bend. If it's a little shark, they're just chipping away at it. That's a little shark. So even though I didn't land the little shark, I do think I was right. I got some bait back and I can see the sh shape right there of like a little baby shark just jump, 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 chomping on it. And so he got my bait. Um, I did manage to get a little whiting, <laughs> not not a keeper, going to throw him back, but at least a whiting uh, in that regard. So I know there's some out there. I'm going to keep trying to fish for more of those and watch him swim. I didn't drop him. It's amazing. I usually do <laughs> let him swim, swim off, swim. Come on. Go. There you go, buddy. He, he's on his way out there. I I did catch a few look at the broadband i'm like oh i got a big one i got a big one and it was a really big one it was the um but very very elusive stick fish that i caught here on shrimp so uh, you know everything like shrimp even the stick fish I also got this, which it looks like a snake, right? It's actually whelk egg cases. So people might think, oh, like I caught a dead snake. They're just little whelk eggs. And then I found this on the beach. It's a lobster. And it doesn't, I'm like, did someone cook this and just throw it out here? But it doesn't look really red. So maybe it was, I've never seen a lobster on the beach at Oak Island, but there you go. Uh, and then finally, I did uh, did manage to get one good whiting this day. Uh, I got this one up, and he actually, you're not even going to see very much of him, because as soon as I get him, I'm just going to grab him and go throw him in the bucket. <laughs> I didn't have my measuring stick, but I think he was about, he was at least a foot. He's a good fatty, too. So I'm going to go home and make some fish tacos out of this bad boy. When I say walk the beach at low tide, you can see what the structure is. So look over my shoulder here, and you can see those kids are sitting. That sandbar goes right out there and cuts right across here where all these waves are. And this is a nice trowel right here. So that sandbar is cutting right across there. There's a nice trowel right here. So if I was going to come back at high tide, I'd want to fish this trowel. I'd, pick, I'd look at this house. What's the number on that house? <laughs> and I'd fish right here. To add to my collection of bait, I saw some sand fleas. You can see the little colonies. They look like little bumpy areas in the sand. And so I ran out and got my sand flea trap and filled it with the sand and then rinsed the sand out. And in the bottom, lo and behold, a few little sand fleas. Now, I like the sand fleas that have the little orange eggs. I'll push back the flappy part, and those are the ones I'll use. If they don't have the orange eggs, I don't use them. I put the hook in from the back till it touches the flappy part, and then I'll actually get a pair of scissors and cut the tail off, and that's supposed to release more scent into the water. So I'm going to try my luck at some sand fleas, and they seem to work. I ran into a little school of little whiting and one after another actually so sometimes if you get into a school of certain size fish that were slippery i drop them always you'll catch you'll catch a bunch of them um the same size so it's nice if you catch one big one cast out there again because you'll catch another big one here i caught about three little whitings all in about you know the eight and nine inch range just one after another uh, but luckily on the big rod which i had put out my big uh, piece of mullet i managed to land a blue fish. I just was watching the others throwing this tiny little whiting back. I saw the rod bend and I'm like, like I said, when the blue fish hit, they hit and they pull and they run. Uh, first, I thought it might have been a shark because it was such a nice little hit. But then I could tell um, by the amount of pull that it, it was not a shark, but still a decent sized blue fish, which I was pretty happy about because I will go home and smoke him and make some some smoked fish dip out of blue fish. So whether you want to fish the slough or the surf, it doesn't matter. They're both great. The only difference is change your tactics, match your tactics and your gear and your bait to target your species, and you're going to have a good time. So let's get out there and go fishing.